Do you have a leaf blower that is not running correctly after sitting in the shed or garage all winter long? Well, so do I. Uh, this is my Craftsman 25cc blower. Basically, I took this out of the garage or out of the shed, gave it a couple pulls, got it started, let it warm up, and then after I gave it gas, it would just die out. And then eventually, I would pull it, get it to run, and it would just die out on me. So chances are it's just gummed up, but I'm gonna walk you through the steps on how to get your leaf blower up and running for the season. For a small engine to work properly, you need three basic things. Air, fuel, and spark, okay? So the first thing we're gonna check is air. And so we're gonna pop this little cover off. Here's your carburetor. And you can see the air filter right there is pretty gnarly. Now, to clean these, you can blow off all the debris. You can, I mean, you can buy a new one if you don't wanna clean it. But what I like to do is just use plain old, clean hot water. Now, an air filter on one of these is basically like a sponge. So if you get it in there and you get it nice and wet and wring it out and get everything out of there, you're going to have an air filter looking new in no time. And to dry it off, all you really got to do is find a nice bright sunny spot and let it sit there and dry in the sun should be ready in 15, 20 minutes. Now fuel is step two. So I use a 41 fuel mix that I actually make myself. You buy the two cycle oil and you add a gallon of gasoline. And I made that in the fall and I have used the same fuel for my weed whacker in the fall and now in the spring. So I know the fuel is still good. So is fuel actually getting through the carburetor is the question. So we're gonna pull the carb off we're gonna disassemble it and we're gonna blow the ports out to make sure fuel is properly going through the carb. Now on these simple uh, two-stroke engines, the carburetor is typically held together by a couple bolts. And as you can see, after we pop the air cover and the filter out, I got two bolts, one and two. Okay, now that that uh, piece is taken off, you can see here's a little carburetor right there. There's the priming cup and you can see the hose that's pressurized that goes into the fuel tank. Basically what you do, is you're pushing air pressure through this hose and then it's gonna push fuel up here into the carburetor, which primes it. So when you give it a first couple pulls, you're gonna have fuel going through the carb and you're gonna get a um, quicker start. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the hoses. I'm gonna take the throttle cable off there and then we're gonna disassemble this guy and we're gonna blow it out with compressed air. Okay, so we got the carburetor pulled off and disassembled uh, the one Part that I didn't take off is a diaphragm up here. You don't want to screw too much around with that because it's basically a rubber piece that goes up and down and you don't want to take it off and risk screwing around with that. So if it was running before and then it's not running correctly, it's probably not your diaphragm. So don't screw with that just yet. So what we're going to do though is we are going to spray everything down with carb cleaner and we're going to blow out the ports. And so I'm going to blow out the um, primer port right here. I'm going to blow out the fuel port here and basically you want to clean out everything um, inside the carburetor, get it nice and clean. Okay, as maybe you can see, I got everything nice and clean here. So what you want to do is spray the whole thing down the carb cleaner, get on the inside here, everywhere that's going to have fuel or air passing through, give it a good spray, let it soak in for a minute, blow it out with compressed air. I just used my Harbor Freight six gallon compressor at about 90 PSI to blow everything out, okay? Um, next step is going to be a reassembly. And then one thing I want to tell you, the primer cup, just check that to make sure there's no cracks or leaks or anything like that. Um, if you need a new cup on there, a primer bulb, if that's what you want to call it, you can pick up a real cheap at, you know, Home Depot, Tractor Supply, or someplace like that. Okay, so two things. Number one, you might be asking yourself or wondering, what is this huge black thing hanging off? Uh, this is your intake manifold gasket. So here's your carburetor. This is your intake manifold. That basically means this is where the air and fuel mixture shoots through and goes into the engine. And I'm not sure if you can see here, but if I pull this, you can see the cylinder moving or the piston moving inside the cylinder. So basically the air shoots in there and then it connects with the spark from the spark plug, creates combustion and your engine runs. You don't wanna take this guy off if it's in good shape. It's clearly adhered nicely to the carb. So it should set right back on there. Plastic is usually not gonna gum these things up or break them up too bad. So you can reuse this gasket. All right, so we took care of air, right? Because we cleaned the filter. And then we're taking care of fuel because we cleaned the carburetor out. 
and we we determined that the fuel in here is good because I made it in the fall. Now the last thing is spark, right? So we're gonna check our spark plug. So you have a boot that connects on top of the spark plug. If this is not secure on top of your spark plug, this will also prevent it from running properly or running at all. Uh, I had already loosened up my plug, so we're gonna pull that out and take a look. And as you can see, it's not in bad shape. Um, you know, if you can definitely tell it's old and used, but it's not anything that we can't clean up. So basically just wanna uh, take a wire brush. This is stainless steel. You don't wanna use sandpaper or anything like that because your spark plug has what is called a gap and that I'm trying to focus here for you guys. You see the um, gap between that long curved arm on top and that little cylindrical piece? That's called your spark plug gap. You don't wanna change that gap because it's specifically set for this spark plug to be used in this motor. So you just wanna clean this up to make sure the debris and all the gummy buildup isn't preventing good spark. Okay, we've got a nice clean looking spark plug. So we're gonna go ahead and reinsert that back onto our leaf blower and we're gonna connect the top boot. Now, when tightening down a spark plug, you don't wanna go too crazy. You just wanna get it nice and hand tight and then give it an extra, just maybe a quarter turn or an eighth of a turn to make sure it's snug. If it's too tight, you can snap the spark plug or you can gum up the bolts. You don't wanna do, or the threads I mean, and you don't wanna do either of those. Okay, so we took care of the spark part. Now, the next step or the last step is just to put our nice clean air filter back in there, put our cover back on, and then we'll pull it and see what happens. Okay, nice and bright outside here, guys. All right, so uh, a lot of these small engines, be it a weed whacker or a leaf blower, have instructions on the side. So if you're unsure how to properly start a small engine and or if you're new to this, just follow the instructions on the side. You basically just wanna prime it, choke it, hold in the throttle, give it a few pulls, and then move it to half choke, do the same thing, and then once it start, let it off, let it warm up, and then you can put the take the choke off and let it run. So I'm gonna do just that right now. All right, I apologize guys, I actually wasn't filming when I did the startup process, but I um, had the choke on full, trigger uh, pulled, and I gave it a couple pulls, then I moved it to half choke, and basically gave it one pull and it started. So it's been running for about a minute now, so I'm gonna take the choke off, and we'll see if we can give this guy some gas. So full choke, half choke, put it on run, now the choke is off. Okay, everybody, there you have it. That is the uh, simple way to get your leaf blower or basically any small engine like a weed whacker or something like that going for the season if it's not running at all or not running correctly. Uh, I really hope this helped you guys. Smash that like button. Smash it! Subscribe if you haven't. Stay tuned. We got a lot more spring-related things coming out, um, coming out since this weather is looking beautiful. So you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.